Kaplikanga mpepo, gona gona, nga tupia neso likawa wiki. Tindaya nga kofi ya nadi. Kwa na makazi sangia nae, nga ono tuma tindaya nga kofi ya chifuku wa dandani wa lukutaika na matindaya niyaya. Ine, na mu waka nwanyala nga wale tutindafika kusipata wa kutu watibaji nika sembe. Wanandu waka kikwa wasa ufiti kutaa, anu wakwa na kwa ufiti. Kwa nisi kutika wa kutitabo, wakwa kutika sembe, sese fry. Kuna ukulumbi, na kusu waka tisimza wa kutia nadi, matindaya nadi ya sese fry. In Africa, sleeping sickness is uh, still a very huge problem. In Malawi, specifically, we have Trypanosoma brucello and CS, which is a very acute disease and it can kill fast if not treated. Our aim is to save life. We should be able to give the treatment that is safe. This is a big issue, affecting few people, but the, the lives of these people are really uh, at a huge uh, risk. With many diseases, we see that the global warming will have impact. With the migration of population, with the migration of parasites, the countries which were not affected today may be affected tomorrow. In that sense, uh, it's important to combine an accessible, acceptable treatment with adequate uh, access to health services. Katina ya mwana unakuti ina pulika makuwa. Nga wakusanga life kodi ya kapamba na mkwala ya pakwambi. Kodi ya pakwambi papala wamu kapulika nga chisungulize. Ya suna ya pakwamu wa uruwilu kwa shipanga kukapulika nga kumakuwa. We see the new drugs. The patient will not need to be hospitalized. The other advantage is that a patient take the drugs uh, all early. They take once in a day for 10 days. What was the most important to me was to be sure that we were bringing the drug to the patients. And this is what I'm very proud of. With Spexinidazole, we were able to put in place access. And I fully trust that today we have the tool to succeed to get elimination of sleeping sickness. It's a relief on the gland. The drug is a promising drug. And we hope the people who are so vulnerable, most of their lives will be well cared for.